Hey, what's up, guys? It's Theo from Fino Concepts. So, today I'm going to show you how to create this text reveal effect in Adobe Photoshop. You can pretty much add this to a very long text or your logos. Anyway, let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concepts. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up our application. For this tutorial, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 and I'll go ahead and create a new document. So as always, I'll set my weight to 1920 and the height to 1080 and this time around I'm going with a custom color so that is 2020-20 and I'll click on OK and click on Create. Now let's zoom this in a little bit. So Control out to bring up my rulers and I'll just click and drag these to the center. Then I'll go ahead and select um, a text. So I'll create a text, let's just say A. And I'll try to align this at the center. Now I don't need the rulers anymore. You know what? I still do need them. Let me just align this at the center. So I'll go ahead and just click and drag them out of the way. Control out to now hide them. So with this text selected, set the fill to zero and go to FX, click on stroke. So this is going to create a stroke around it like so. Now I'll change the position to outside, not inside, just change it to outside. Select a specific size you want. In my case, I'll just be using a size of 5 pixel. The blend mode is set to normal opacity 100. But for the fill type, I'm just going to click and select gradient. Now click on this gradient box right here and select the second preset which is foreground to transparent and click on OK. In case you don't have this, um, make sure that your foreground color is set to white. Then go back by double clicking on this FX. So my foreground color is set to transparent and um, the style is also set to linear. Now if I click and drag, you can see that this is how the whole thing is. So my scale is also 100 and the angle is 45 degrees. So basically that's it. This is what I want us to have and I'll click on OK. But before we continue, right click and go to copy layer style, right click one more time. This time around, click on clear layer style. So that's going to hide everything. Now go to window and make sure that timeline is checked and click on create video timeline. So this video is going to be about um, 10 seconds long. Sorry, 5 seconds long. I'm actually going to stretch it out and I'll explain to you why in a second. So I'm actually going to make it 6 seconds. So for the first part, go to the beginning of your timeline click on this little arrow right here and select style create a keyframe for style move about one second and right click and go to paste layer style so if i play this this is what we have in case this is what you want you can i mean you can just go ahead and set it to this but that's not what we want so what i'll do is once i have this i'll again I'll bring the playhead to the one second or sorry the one second frame whilst holding down the shift key so that it will align perfectly over here. I'll go into the FX preset, click on stroke and I'll click and drag the stroke to somewhere around here, making sure that the text is not visible. And I'll click on OK. Now I move to about five seconds where I want the animation to end. Or probably let's make it um, 30 frames after four four seconds. Go back to the FX, click on stroke, and I'll go ahead and animate it to something like this. And I'll just click on OK. So it's going to create another keyframe for me. Now if I go ahead and play this, you see that it is moving into the stroke before it reveals our whole logo. Um, this thing is actually too slow for me, so I'll probably um, click and drag this to about 3 seconds. Now we want only this part where the logo is being reviewed, we don't actually need this area. So what I'll do is I'll bring the playhead to the one second and I'll use this scissor icon to cut it out. Now I don't need the bottom one so I'll just delete it using delete on my keyboard or anything of that sort. So if I go ahead and play this, this is what we have. The logo reveals in like so. Yeah. Alright, as always, the PSD template is going to be linked below, so be sure to check it out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to watch more of our videos, hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Funeral Concepts, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.